Hello again. How have you been all this time? It's been a while since we talked. Time keeps slipping faster away these days. So seem the memories still. Are you doing alright? Probably better than me anyways. I seem to find myself holding it together barely these days. But being a human was never easy, I guess. You always seemed happier. Maybe I should try what you did and wander with a stare into the distant. Feeling detached from immediate surroundings. Substituted by visionary fantasy of hopes, ambition and happiness. Drifting in a moment of bliss when the sound's down. The vision goes out of focus and a single thought becomes most prominent. But those thoughts were was always a mystery to me. I remember you saying, tomorrow is a mystery, yesterday is a history, today is a gift. That's why it's called present. Yet no matter how much time runs by, life keeps sending psychological traps. But at one point all the feeling builds up and you are left wallowing in your own misery. Never acknowledging a moment until it becomes a memory. Never realize the joy until it's over. Never get the chance to redo it all. Why even bother anymore? I tried my hardest and best I could be until I found myself slipping back into my old ways. In the end I always seem to fail. And with every attempt I become more frustrated and annoyed by myself. As time passes on for me and everyone else we start to understand. We're all falling apart. We're all in the process of constant decay and death. At first you see it all around you. Then with your loved ones. And then you. The cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples. The great globe itself, all which it inherits, shall dissolve. And like its substantial peg and faded, leave no track behind. Our life is all we got to experience and it's the only thing that matters. You always said the universe doesn't have principles or meaning. The only meaning is relevant to the ones we decide on. And if the universe doesn't have a purpose, we get to dictate what that purpose is. So why is it when we solve a whole set of problems we find new ones to worry about? Why can't we never be at peace? After a while, I realized that I was just going around the cycle and doing the same old thing over and over again. It's just, we don't realize that we are chasing our own tail by internally recurring process of not knowing who we are. Not that we had a choice to become who we are. Just broken off pieces of a mirror reflecting the world around us. Like the painter painting a wall, we are all at the same time. The painter, the ball, the brush and the wave of painting from the palette to the brush to the wall. And through the process of mistakes and illumination, come to more truly understand what we are and what we have painted over the wall of life. It's an endless cycle of the shattering of illusionary frames of reference. We are a process, distracted from the truth of our origins and nature by the sedentary life. Everybody seems to be in their own worlds, believing themselves a greater exception, and may have the mindset or belief of a destiny. Some like character and ruined efforts of others, profiteering of greed and never considering that it is the very same people that are dependent on things they are even to be profiteered off of. Disposable society is what they call us. We do not understand how to repair something. We are only thought to replace, so when a friendship or a relationship becomes difficult, we throw it away and try to find a new one. Driven in this world that is obsessed with productivity, self-reliance being touted as a positive, and there is no odd generation living alone. Being connected with electronics constantly is pushing us further apart. People have become the absolute center, the be at all and end all of their own existence and now believe that everybody else should treat them the same way. The world wasn't made to be fair. It was made for us to find each other in the dark and offer comfort while the nightmares pass. But now most will have to face these nightmares alone. Through the process of elimination, we come to more truly understand what we are and what we have. It's an endless cycle of shattering of illusionary frames of reference. Yet we tend to stay to our wrong beliefs, making us feel strong. 
The act of resisting influence only further fortifies our convictions. We have all of our defenses ready and we end up sealing our beliefs in ever more impenetrable fortress. Our loyalty to our groups prevent us from challenging dearly held beliefs and keep us from rethinking our views. But look at me, blathering around about all of the negatives when there's so much positive in this world. I guess it doesn't matter in the end. We're just molecules that make up the existence long before we got here. And we'll be here after we've passed away. You could say a vessel of reality to consider itself. After all, you didn't come in this world. You came out of it like a wave of ocean. So even if we all die, we fail in some sense. So might as well enjoy life even with the failures we may carry. For when our symphony ends, it doesn't mean it wasn't worth listening to.